they have a little count in the end and if you follow a lot of good habits it's going to add up and it's going to make a big big difference for your weight loss in the past i've done a few videos about gaining weight as a skinny guy simply because this is more applicable to me but today's topic is weight loss losing weight and maintaining your fitness results and how do you make it easier for yourself now losing weight staying in shape gaining muscle this is not easy I mean, look around you in your life. Most people are simply not in shape. This is a difficult thing to do. But there are many ways you can make this easier for yourself. How often do you see when somebody gets in shape? They start working out, they spend months, years to get in shape. You see the before picture, you see the after picture, and it's incredibly inspiring. But three months down the line after their transformation, they are back to where they started again. They are unable to maintain this in the long term. This is the key. If you go into shape, then you can't just stop there, you have to keep going. And the tips that I'm gonna give you in this video, the different habits that you can adopt will make this easier for yourself and will make sure that you can get in shape, but not just get in shape, but stay in shape in the long term as well, because as I was saying, this is what you want. You don't wanna bounce back to where you started from. So the first tip that I'm gonna give you is to simply clean up your environment. What do I mean by cleaning up your environment? This is so important, by the way. Your environment is what's around you at all times. So what's in your home, most importantly, what's in the places where you work. You have to make sure that you are not constantly surrounded by temptations. In terms of fitness, this will be junk food or foods that you really, really like, really, really crave. And you know that if you set your eyes on it, there is no way you're not gonna end up eating it. These are the types of foods. So what you need to do is when you go shopping, make sure that you don't bring these types of foods into your home. Imagine you're working from home. Many people are working from home these days. It's a normal thing. And you get stressed. And many people cope with stress by eating junk food. If you know that the chocolate bar is in your house, then when you're stressed, you are way more likely to eat it. If you don't have this in your house, even then you might start craving this. But because it's not around you, you won't be able to eat it. You actually have to put some effort in and go to the shop and buy it because it's not around you as we speak. So you're making it harder, harder for yourself and less accessible to access these junk foods, which will instantly clean up your diet to an extent and will make your weight loss way, way easier. The second tip is to consume more protein in your diet. First of all, protein obviously is the, one of the building blocks for muscle. If you're looking to gain muscle, then it's perfect. You need to eat protein, but also when you eat more protein, like lean pieces of meat, this fills you up more. So every day, if you're looking to lose weight, you have to make sure that the calories you're eating is less than what you are burning. So you are putting yourself into a calorie deficit. How do you make this easier for yourself? By having meals that fill you up more. How do you make this? How do you do this? You do this by having more protein in your diet, by having more chicken, lean pieces of meat preferably. This will make it really good for yourself. If you have lean pieces of meat like chicken with vegetables and rice, you can have a meal that is big, it's massive, and it will fill you up but it's low in calories. I mean, think about it this way. If you go to McDonald's, you can have yourself a Big Mac meal. Big Mac, the burger itself has about 600 calories. The chips will be about 300 as well. If you get a regular Coke, it will be 200 as well. Now that is 1,100 calories. It's not very big. You eat the Big Mac and you already consume 1,100 calories and you're not even full from it. When you have more lean protein in your diet, you're making sure that you become full by eating way less calories. Through this, you're making it easier for yourself to actually lose weight. The next tip is very similar to this, but it is to add more vegetables into your diet with the same goal to reduce the amount of calories you are consuming, but increase the portions that you are having. Again, vegetables have don't have many calories in it, right? Think of it this way. You can buy yourself a chocolate bar. A chocolate bar could often be two, 300 calories. You eat that chocolate bar in five, 10 seconds, it's nothing. You don't get satisfied from it, it does not fill you up. Now, to eat 200, 300 calories of vegetables, even onions or broccoli or tomatoes or whatever it is, it's very, very hard. Please give it a try. Try eating 200 calories of a specific vegetable, like broccoli, for example. It's incredibly difficult. I'm not saying you have to eat broccoli because not everybody likes it, but find the vegetables that suit you and find the vegetables that you like. Now, with these vegetables, you don't have to eat them raw. You have to make sure you add these to your meals and you spice the different types of meats that you have and you find recipes that are very high in vegetables. These are often high in fiber as well, which again will fill you up and will make sure that you get to have higher portions, larger portions, but less calories. This is what you're doing when you're having more vegetables in your diet. Not to mention the fact that they are full of vitamins, which as human beings we all need. The next tip that I'm gonna give you is to simply consume more water. Why is consuming water so important? So when you have more water, it keeps you more full in a way as well, 
that's one thing that makes sure that you don't want to crave as much food later on. Being hydrated is a good thing, of course, as we all know. Not to mention the fact that it is actually very beneficial because it helps you to burn more calories during the day, especially cold water. So the body's temperature is about 36 up to 37 degrees. When you drink water, whatever temperature that water is, it needs to heat it up to your body's temperature. The colder it is, the more it needs to heat up. The more it needs to heat it up, the more calories you are going to be burning. Now, is this significant? Is this a big amount of calories? Not really, only a couple of extra calories. But if you do this, if you have more protein in your diet, if you have more vegetables in your diet, and if you follow the other tips that I'm gonna give you for the rest of this video, then this will make a big, big difference. Every little counts in the end. And if you follow a lot of good habits, then all this little is gonna add up and it's gonna make a big, big difference for your weight loss in the end that will make it very easy for you to actually get into shape and stay in shape, as I was saying. The next tip is to have more diet soda drinks. So the point of this is to not drink your calories. So you can buy yourself a cola. Cola has, every 100 milliliter has about 50 calories. That is a lot, that is a lot. Imagine if one bottle of Coke, cola, whatever you call it, is 250 calories. It does not fill you up, it's just full of sugar, there's nothing good in there, that barely even hydrates you. If you could avoid that and have a diet cola instead, which tastes similar, close enough, you might be saying, oh yeah, but it does not taste the same. Listen, this is a compromise that you simply just have to make. Maybe the taste is not exactly the same, but if it's very similar, that's already good enough if you can save 200, 300 calories by doing this. These fizzy drinks are full of sweeteners, whether they are good for you or not is another question, but for weight loss, it is actually perfect because you still get a sweet taste, which maybe you crave, you satisfy your cravings, but at the same time, you don't consume any calories. The next tip is to add more cardio into your lifestyle, but in a very subtle way. Of course, I recommend for you to go to the gym every day, do as much exercise as you can, because the more calories you burn, the easier it becomes to become in a calorie deficit. But if you wanna make this easy for yourself, and you can add some extra cardio into your everyday life in a very subtle way, which you barely even notice. So this includes things like, instead of taking a lift, you take the stairs. When you go and get lunch, you take a longer route. You go for a little walk in the morning. If you keep doing this enough during the day, then you can burn a little bit more calories. Now with this as well, you don't really notice it because you're going about your business anyway. You're doing the things that you would be doing anyway, but you are finding ways to incorporate more walking into your lifestyle. The next tip again is to do with nutrition and it is to find lower calorie alternatives. So there are different types of foods. You can buy yourself cheese. That's pretty high in calories, generally speaking. One size of cheese can be about 100 calories even sometimes. Nowadays, if you go to the shop, you can find various lower calorie alternatives. Now, low calorie alternative may be 50 calories less. Again, this makes a big difference if you satisfy your cravings because you really like cheese but you get to do this in a way where you consume less calories, then this is perfect. It can be the same with yogurt, for example. Nowadays, you can buy yourself yogurt that is a bit lower in calories, or even buying a more lean piece of meat with beef mince, for example. You can buy yourself the 20% one or the 5% one. By choosing alternatives that are lower in calories, you still get to eat the same types of foods. Maybe it's not exactly as good as you would have if it was full of fat or full of all the good stuff, but it is close enough. And if you're doing this, you still are gonna make it easy for yourself to stay in a calorie deficit. It is almost like your budget, right? You have a certain amount of calories every day and you have to make sure that you don't overspend and don't overeat. But anyway, these are my tips for losing weight and staying in shape. I think they make a big difference, especially if the more of these you are doing, the better it is gonna be for you. So try and adopt many of these habits. Maybe some of these you are already doing, that's amazing. But if some of these you are not, then maybe give them a try and see what happens. Maybe they're gonna make a big difference for you. Apart from this, I do content to do with self-improvement. I talk about different topics like going to the gym, working out, diet, fitness, sports like boxing, traveling, traveling for self-improvement, or just general self-improvement. If that interests you, then consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you like this video, if this gives you value, then consider giving it a like and tune in for the next video, which I will release actually next week.